The Pi Top is a laptop kit that contains a monitor, keyboard, trackpad, and an 8GB SD card containing a pre-installed image for the Raspberry Pi. Some assembly is required and you'll need to bring your own Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. To get started, unbox the Pi Top and place all the components in front of you. Attach four brass standoffs to the hub PCB. Some needle nose pliers might be helpful here if you have some. Insert the Pi Top OS micro SD card into your Raspberry Pi. Attach four brass standoffs to the Raspberry Pi mounting holes. Use the supplied Allen wrench to push the rail covers out from the bottom of the base. Slide the hinges on the top, the part with the monitor, into the grooves in the back of the base. The top and the base pieces should be flush around all the sides. Use the small Allen wrench to gently tighten the bolts near the hinges on the underside of the base. Carefully slide the screen cable into the connector at J6 on the hub PCB. Fold the locking bar into place. Position the hub such that the screw in the upper left of the base pokes through the M1 hole on the hub, and then gently push down to attach the header on the hub with the socket in the base. Secure the hub to the base by putting screws through the slots on the underside of the base and attaching them to the standoffs in the hub. Note that I am using the silver bolts and the larger Allen wrench for this. I recommend placing the pie top on its side and gently pushing the hub and base together to get the bolts to bite. Hand tighten a nut to the screw poking through the M1 hole on the hub. The instructions specifically say not to use any tools, so just hand tighten it to have it make contact with the gold pad. Much like we did for the hub, use the silver bolts and the larger Allen wrench to attach the Raspberry Pi to the right side of the base. I recommend leaving about an inch between the Pi and the edge to allow room for the USB cables later. Gently attach the GPIO cable to the hub and the other end of the Raspberry Pi. The hub side is keyed so it will only go in one way, however the Pi side is not, so make sure that the notches on the cable's connector are facing the inside of the Pi. Route the bundle of wires in the channel under the monitor. Connect the HDMI ports of the Raspberry Pi and hub using the supplied cable. Also, connect the micro USB power port of the Raspberry Pi to the USB port on the hub. Plug the power control cable into the top port on the back side of the base top, the part with the keyboard. Plug the keyboard cable into the other port on the back side of the base top. Plug the other side of the keyboard cable into one of the USB slots on the Raspberry Pi and then slide the top base onto the base, making sure that the tabs in the back line up with the grooves in the hinges. Gently press around the sides of the base top to snap it into place, and attach the power control cable to the hub. Remove the paper backing from the acrylic cover, some fingernails or a razor blade is a must here. Slide the cover into the base top, making sure that the Pi top engraving is readable. Replace the rail covers on the bottom of the base, Finally, plug in the power adapter from the wall to the hub on the left side of the Pi Top and press and hold the power button for one to two seconds. At this point, the Raspberry Pi should come alive. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up the operating system and you will be browsing, programming, and playing in very little time.